as long as life is a matter of comparison, it will never be enough. Mm -hmm. There will always be someone who has more friends than you do, got more likes than you did. And here's why it's so insidious. First, it will make you unhappy because you will always be comparing yourself with others. But it also will do something that's also powerfully destructive to your happiness is it will it will make you not grateful for others. When someone else comes in and has a great hair day, if you're living in, in the world of coveting, how can I celebrate your success because I'm less because you've got it? If you get a promotion or if you get more likes than I do, uh, what does it mean to celebrate that? And fascinating research, as you mentioned, I talk about the book in social media. Mm-hmm. It turns out people who are in social media mostly as spectators are less happy than those who aren't on social media because basically what I'm doing is watching the A rolls of other people's lives while I'm living the B roll of my life and comparing. Well but those people who are very active in a positive way on social media, liking, celebrating the success of others, engaging with others who are doing good things and asking how they can help, those people are actually happier when they're on social media than when they're not. So basically when we're in social media in a place of coveting, it makes us unhappy. We're in when we're in social media in a place of celebrating and engaging with others, we're actually happier.